I'd like to teach both of you how to express your support to your country in Cantonese. Are you ready? Okay, ready. Italy, Long John. Italy, John John. Italy, Long John. Yes, very good. That's perfect. Mat Jong Wasi. Mat Do Wasi. Fa Guo Geng Chao. Woo. Fa. Fa Guo Geng Chao. Fa Guo Dang. Geng Chao. Fa Guo Dang. Ah, that's right. Geng Chao. Geng Dong. Guo Geng Chao. Fan Gan Dong. Dong. It's so close. It's almost. Do you want to try one more? Yes. Of course. Fa guo geng chao. Fa gang duan gao. I don't get it. It's so hard. But you tried your best and it's it's almost perfect. Thank you so much, you both. I'm sure the okay. fans would love hearing that. So, uh, moving on to the group D, there's Poland, Netherlands, Austria, and France, the home country of Roberts. What about Netherlands? I think we have a quality to finish on the first position on this group. And after... I will say Netherlands or, or Austria. Austria because it's a hard, hard team, a strong team. Uh, like a Denmark is very physical. Um, but Netherlands, maybe they are more experienced about the about this competition, uh, especially with uh, Van Dijk because Van Dijk for me is uh, one of the best defender in uh, in Europe. Um, so I will say yeah, uh, France first and uh, Netherlands second position. Uh, for me, France absolutely. Because, you know, <laughs> Thank you, Michael. Uh, no, no, no. Uh, really, <laughs> a lot in Turam because he grew up very fast and strong. He's a uh, quality. <laughs> Netherlands, they play very well. They have a lot of philosophy. They have a good team, good name, good players. They 80% France, for sure, and uh, 15% Netherlands and 5% Austria. <laughs> so both of you have the same prediction, France and Netherlands. Let's Hello. move on to Group E. There's Belgium. Slovakia, Romania, and Ukraine. So um, there seems like a tight race here. Some say Belgium's golden era is over. So which two teams do you think will advance? Belgium. They have a good team. Uh, they have Lukaku. I think it's Romania. Yeah, they are tough, tough team. Uh, for me, I will say different. Uh, on the first position, uh, of course, Belgium. Mm, I agree with uh, with Marco uh, when he said uh, and when he talk about players like uh, Lukaku or or Kevin De Bruyne, because I think the uh, the connection between two players is very um, is very good team, strong team. I like I like Belgium. So for me, it's one of the underdog for the competition. On the second position, I will say Ukraine. Ukraine because they have uh, very good players. I love this team, and especially some some uh, young players because the young players in Ukraine is very good. And I think um, this nation they have a very good future uh, for for the next competition. But I believe on Ukraine for for the next uh, next Euro in Germany. Mm, that's a really different perspective this time in Group E. F for the last group. Here's uh, Turkey, Georgia, Portugal, and Czech. So this could be Cristiano Ronaldo's last Euro. Do you think he can lead Portugal to another triumph? And who's your dark horse to make it through the knockout stage? Let's start with Marco again. For me, the Portugal is favorite to to win yes. the, the group, and the Turkey. Because Turkey, they play, they play well. There are many players in a different country. They have one of the best midfielder, uh, Chernoglu, the captain. Uh, Portugal and uh, Turkey. So, uh, I will say, of course, Portugal, uh, is not, is not because of Cristiano Ronaldo. Of course, he's one of the best players. And especially now, he's, he's, uh, I don't know, he's 39, not 39 old. Uh, he has old. But he's, he's very, he's very good. He's very on good, uh, good sharp. The team, is very very good, good quality for me. Is like uh, yeah, it's like England or Germany. Is one of the favorites for the competition. Uh, so Portugal because they have a lot of experience and great players. And on the second position, I will say Georgia because always we have a, a small surprise during the competition. Uh, uh -huh. But I, I like I like Turkey. But I will say something different because Georgia they have a good team. One of one of the one of them is very very good. He, he played for Napoli, uh, but the name is long. Huh? Uh, the name, no, the name, <laughs> I, I, it's too long. Marco, it's not easy. Yeah, it's too long. No, no, <laughs> Napoletano. <laughs> yeah, no, it's, but it, for me, it's one of the it's one of the best. Yeah, and, and because uh, Willy Sagnol is the manager and is my friend as well. So, uh, Georgia, okay. second position. 
Well, I think he's a really good player too, because I can't pronounce his name as well. <laughs> Even you Me too. can't pronounce Me too. <laughs> We've covered a lot about the teams. What about the players? Who do you think will be the top goal scorer? Uh, Mbappé. <laughs> <It's too easy. laughs> I say Mbappé and Turam. I like him. Uh, I will say uh, Kylian Mbappé. Uh, because he's on the, this season he's on fire with the PSG. Uh, maybe Harry Kane. Well, let's wish um, the team you support has a good result. And thank so you very thank much. Thank you so much thank for today and sharing your insights today. It's a blast sharing with thank you. Thank you. After the group stage, I'll see you again. Okay. Thank you so much. Talk to thank you. you. Ciao, ciao. Ciao, ciao.